Good afternoon to you viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to talk to you about a single span steel bridge located at Williams Field, just in the vicinity of the Melrose Bypass in the parish of Manchester, Jamaica. So this single span bridge, I'm going to show you the different components that make up a bridge. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to carry out a safety inspection of bridge. I have done some amount of bridge inspection back in the States. So I'm going to show you the defects that you should look out for. There are 15 different defects in your concrete structure. And when it comes to bridge, we look out for all 15, but I can't remember all 15 now, but I can remember the five, five or six major ones. So the first one is cracking. So we're gonna look for cracking in the abutments or cracking in the wing wall. We are going to look for scaling. We are going to look for delamination. We are going to look for efflorescence and we are going to look for spas and also honeycombing. So let me rephrase that. I might have said it wrong. It is delamination. So delamination is a separation of the concrete from the steel within your concrete structure. So stay tuned for the video. I want you to watch this video until the end. I also want you to comment. And I also you, want you to share the video. And if you're a first time viewer of this channel, I also want you to subscribe. So watch this video until the end and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Good morning to you folks. So I'm here to present this single span steel bridge to you. So this was one of the things that I wanted to, was to bring to your attention um, but you know in the States you can't get access to these bridges um, the road is very very busy and some of these bridge they span over water and where they span over the road section the road is very very busy so I wouldn't take any chances to do a video to show you what a bridge components are like so as you can see we have the parapet at the top there <coughs> sorry and then we have the fascia beam um, I can see the wing walls and I can see the abutments so I'm gonna point this out to point this out to you um, label it so that you can see what I'm talking about so this bridge is a single span steel bridge so it has so let's move down a little bit closer so I'm gonna show you now how to go about inspecting the bridge so I'm gonna look at the first half first so so I'm going to turn the camera here now so what we're looking at now is the bridge abutment so that's the abutment there and to this side is the wing wall so there are two types of wing walls on a bridge they are flared wing walls and they are U wing walls so this is a flared wing walls right so look look at the top now so these are the girders the steel girders are the eye roll section or you can simply call it the the steel beam so these are the steel beams right and that con concrete portion in between the beams that is the deck so the component of a bridge a bridge has three main components there is the a bridge has three main components there is the deck there is the superstructure and there is the substructure so the deck 
the superstructure. So the superstructure is what is called the, the, the beams. The beams are classified as a superstructure. And below the superstructure, there is the substructure, which is the abutment and the foundation. So as you can see now, where the bridge, where the beams are seated, Noise from the traffic, and I so let's go again. So, where the beams are seated, that is called the beam seat. So, that's where the, bridge, the beams are seated. I'm going to point that out to you when I'm doing the video most closely. So, if you look at the, the beams. At one end there, you might see some vertical steel, steel, steel structure, some vertical components of the steel. You, I think those are stiffness. So um, the reason why they put those stiffness there, I'm not privy to the design of this bridge, but based on my experience with bridge design, those vertical components on the steel beams um, they are called stiffness. So we know that um, the, a beam fails. There are two modes of failure when it comes to when it comes to beams. They are shear failure and they are flexure failure or bending. So because the because the shear is so high at the end, those beams are placed with stiffness to. To mitigate against the high shear moments that are going to be at the end. So we know that in steel design, in beam design, the maximum shear is going to be at the ends. Right? So yes. So below there. Below the abutment here. These are our weep holes, those circular holes you see there. They are known as weep holes. Some of them are clogs, are clogged. And the weep hole is put there behind the abutment to release the <coughs> hydrostatic pressure that is going to be behind the abutment based on water. So whenever time you hear the terms hydrostatic or hydro, it means water. So it releases the water that is going to be built up behind the bridge. So it doesn't push the bridge. It doesn't seep down to the foundation and cause what is called differential settlements in your foundation. So those are the purpose of the weep pole. To release the water from behind the bridge so that it doesn't affect the bridge, it doesn't push the bridge, it doesn't seep down to the foundation and cause settlement in your foundation. So this is the other side of the, of the bridge. So this bridge, if you look, it is in a pretty good condition. Um, when I observe the when I observe the abutment here, I'm not seeing any efflorescence. I'm not seeing any scaling, I'm not seeing any honeycomb, I'm not seeing any delamination. So there are 15 defects. There are 15 defects in concrete. So whenever time we are doing bridge inspection, we look out for those defects. We look out for scaling, we look out for efflorescence, and if you don't know what efflorescence is, a fluorescence <clears throat> yes so a fluorescence is the calcium that is in the concrete and it usually comes out when the concrete structure is exposed to a lot of water so I'm not seeing any efflorescence here if you look at the abutment here it's pretty clean 
I'm not seeing any sign of scaling. I'm not seeing any kind of spall. So a spall is a indentation that is on the concrete. Sometimes it exposes the rebar. So as you can see, the you know there's no there's nothing that tells me that this bridge is going to fail. It's going to fail anytime soon. So the bridge is in a well. I don't know what the deck is like because I have to go on top to view the deck. I don't know what the deck is like. So. It needs a little bushing still. The wing walls need to be bushed away. Uh, so this is part of my job back in the States too. I do a lot of bridge in, a bridge inspection. So as you can see there, this bridge was built in, I don't know if you can see it here. It, this bridge was built in 1978. And the maximum clearance is 16 feet. 4,877 millimeter. Well, I don't see the posting for the bridge, and it's supposed to carry a posting to tell you the maximum load or the maximum weight that is supposed to go over the bridge. So, yes, so that is this bridge here. is in a pretty con is in a pretty good condition, in my opinion. There are no why them. Vehicles here use vehicles here. Um, taxi driver here, may I tell you? Yes, yeah, so, and I make sure to come here early in the morning where I think the traffic is not going to be an issue. So, this is Independence Day in Jamaica. So, I make sure to come when I think the traffic is not. So, one more thing before I go. So, if you look at the beams too, the beams are in a pretty good condition. So if you observe the steel beams, there are no rusting. There are no rusting on the steel beam. There are no section losses. There are no section losses. So the beams are in a very good condition. If I'm going to rate this bridge, I would give them an 8 out of 10. And that 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 cross member that you see goes through the that uh, that is screwed onto the the bridge the bridge the, the beams they are called they are called stringers and they are there to limit the, the the beam movements so the beams stay in position when it is being loaded right so i'm going to show you I'm going to show you um, this. I'm going to label this video so I can show you the different parts. Yeah, so that middle part, that middle member that you see come across that is attached to the beams. They are called stringers and they are there to limit the, the, um, the torsional, right, the torsional moments due to the load that is going to be on the bridge. So this bridge is very is designed well. Um, it's, it looks like a bridge, one of the bridges that 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 that, that, that we have um, designed in the in the states there. So it look good, it look good. So I tell you that we Jamaicans we can do stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. So okay. So there is one little defect here i i made upon a defect so if you observe here the wing wall is shearing away from the abutment see this gap there in between that this gap in between that is not supposed to be there so i think this is due to the retain so you see as you go up above you see it is sealed it is sealed all the way to the top of the bridge and as you see as it comes down you see it start to deteriorate see it? the filling the concrete here the fill is being deteriorated and it's in, it's, it is falling out see so these look like concrete fill or the bridge is sharing away so there's an opening there opening there so that's one defect 
But I still wouldn't give this bridge. Let's 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 check on the other side. Let me look what is coming because this, this road is very very busy as early as the morning. So if you look on this side here, you can see this side here. If you look above, look at the seam here. Come all the way down. See? This side is pretty good. That's this side is pretty good. But over here now, you can see that it is moving away. See? It is pretty good here, but as, you, as it comes down here, you see we have an opening there. So we have a movement. It, it, could, be, it, it could be the retained material is starting to push the wall a little bit, or it's just a deterioration of the filler over time. So they need to fill, fill back this area here. Right. So that is it. Uh, okay, okay, so this front, let, let me tell you again now. So this front beam here is what you, is called a fascia beam. That fascia beam here. If you notice, there's a camber in the beam, in the steel beam there. So this is known as the fascia beam or the, the steel girder or the eye roll section. So there are two fascia beams. There are one, there are one on this end and the other one is... No man, my brother need to use the road better man. Look at the man behave man. So that's another fascia beam. So the fascia beam is usually the beam at the ends that is facing the that is facing the traffic. So so as you can see, this beam these fascia beam have, have no indentation on it. So there are no units that is high enough to pass and hit the fascia beam. I have come across um, bridge, li bridge like these in the, in the states there where the fascia beam is, is totally are totally are somewhat damaged because of the high unit that passed underneath the bridge that hit it. But as you can see these fascia beam here is in pretty good condition. So I'm going to wrap this video up now. Um, so as I go along, if I see any civil structures, I'm going to bring it to your attention because, you know, my substantive profession, my substantive profession is really a civil uh, construction engineer. I just do architecture, building drawings as, you know what I mean, it's something I can do, but it's, you know what I mean, yeah. So I'm going to wrap this video up now, so let me show you. So, that. That is the bridge right there. So I will catch you in another video. So I hope I find another structure I can bring to your attention. So enough respect and next time. Okay? All right.